Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Assistant routines. It's very, very easy. Um, but for those of you not tech savvy, it might be a little bit intimidating, but it's pretty cool once you get the hang of it. So for if you're looking for the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. So I broke this video down into a few parts. Um, the first is me giving a sample of what I've actually done already with my Google Assistant routine. Um, then the second part is basically me showing how did I make those specific commands. And the last part of the video is me creating a brand new command uh, from scratch together so you kind of get an idea of how it's done and you can be created from there and make your own. So Google Assistant routines in a nutshell, what it actually is, is uh, think of it as a way to give Google Assistant commands, whether it be through pressing a button or voice assistant commands through your smartphone or smart speaker, and you can string multiple things to happen at the same time. So my basement setting near my gaming TV setup, I have three different lighting products here. Now, typically turning these lights on all at the same time is not that easy. Despite me having two products from Nanoleaf, don't forget that the Philips Hue light bars are from a different manufacturer. Well, thanks to Google Assistant routines, it's actually very easy to make them all turn on together, turn off together. And you can do other customized things if you want to as well. So let me give you a quick sample of how to get that done with a custom voice command as well and Google will spit back a custom voice reply. So let me just give you that quick sample. Gaming mode on. It's game time. And then here's a sample command on how to turn all these lights off at the same time. Gaming mode off. Lights out. So with that said, let's dive into how I got this done. So to do this, you have to open up the Google Home app. You can download this on the uh, App Store, whatever operating system you're using, whether it's iOS or Android, and you wanna tap on routines. The other way is to use a Google Assistant to actually find routines. So by using voice search, you just simply tap on it. Google routines. And there you go, you can use voice assistant to find this. I find this to be much faster and easier because if Google ever changes the interface of this app, you could just use voice search instead. But anyway, going into routines itself, let's take an example of what I did here. So I have two separate commands. One is game mode off, one is game mode on. So let's take a look at on. And what I basically said is, hey, I wanna have it so that whenever I tell my Google Assistant gaming mode on, well, then I need to adjust some actions. And the actions are applied here. Basically what I'm telling it is to turn on certain lights, uh, the gaming shelf lights at the bottom. And then of course you have the basement lights near the middle top uh, section. And then of course, um, what I'm gonna have Google Assistant say back to me is say it's game time. So it's really easy. There's nothing really to it. That's, that's all that really happens. It's a very simple thing to set up. So uh, it's the same thing for gaming mode off, right? Similar idea, it's just everything's the opposite. I say gaming mode off, but what it does is basically turn the lights off instead of turning them on. And then of course, Google's gonna say lights out. So let's dive into how do we actually create a brand new one. So from this screen, you're gonna hit the plus icon at the bottom, right? And we're gonna say that we wanna create a new one for when I wake up, for example. So you can adjust the name. So I'm gonna make something like morning. Add a starter command. Um, so we'll say this time we're gonna use a specific time. So a specific time, let's say at 6 a.m. on weekdays. And we'll say add starter. So this is the starting command every weekday at 6 a.m. And you can have more than one starter command. You can have multiple things that will trigger this. You can use Google Assistant command here, as you can see, but we'll leave it as just a timer, kind of like an alarm system. So we'll add an action here. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do here. As you can see, you can get info and weather reminders from Google Assistant directly. Um, you can get communications and announcement. Um, again, these are very specific Google ones. And you can do play media and control. So you can even play music if you want to. So we'll do radio. And what radio station you want to play? We'll say 680 News, which is a local radio station here. And then done. And then as you can see at the very bottom, it says device for audio. What I'm going to do is adjust this to master bedroom speaker, and it'll play it there. But let's add some more stuff just for the fun of it. So we'll go to add action, and let's say we'll adjust some lighting. Uh, so we'll go to adjust lights and plugs and actions. So check that, but then edit the action. So you specify exactly what you wanna do. So typically I have my closet light on as a night light. I'm gonna say, you know what? When my alarm turns on at 6 a.m., let's turn off that closet light, right? If you really wanted to, you can adjust your thermostat, maybe make it uh, a little bit warmer as you wake up and hit done. 
what's going to basically happen now is all these things are going to apply. So basically, we set the first condition that every weekday at 6 a.m., something's going to happen. Well, what's going to happen is going to add, you know, it's going to play some radio, uh, that radio station that I set. It's going to adjust the thermostat to get slightly warmer as I wake up and turn off some lights because, well, the sun has risen by then. You can hit save. And that's all there is to it. If you want to do a sample command, uh, you can always hit the play button on one of these. Just a quick sample, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Google Assistant Routines is very easy to use and there's nothing more to it. That's pretty much all. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.